Good morning. I just packed up camp. I was very slow at doing it just because, I don't know, it's not fun having to put on damp clothes. They did dry a little more than I expected them to overnight. I just kind of laid them out on the floor of my tent. Um, but yeah, they still feel damp. I don't think it's going to rain today, so hopefully the sun comes out and I can take some stuff out of my pack and dry it a little more, but there wasn't service at that campsite. I guess I could have used my Garmin to check weather. I did power it on for the first time this whole trip to text my husband saying that I was at camp and there's no service. I feel like I haven't had to do that yet, so I've been pretty lucky. But a lot of my stuff is just gross and muddy, like my tent is just like dirt all over it on the outside on the inside um but i think i handled that super rainy weather pretty nice it did start raining again while i was sleeping and i was pretty frustrated because i kept getting raindrops on my face like i don't know why rain was getting in my tent maybe i have to inspect that but it, it was just dripping from the roof I didn't get any like puddles in my tent. I don't think the water was coming in the sides. It was just, I don't know, it just felt like the condensation was dripping on me. But maybe it's just because the rainstorm was that bad. So that's the morning update for you. So I was saying, I think in yesterday's vlog, that the last 16 miles of the trail, like that I did yesterday, was actually closed while I threw hiked in 2021. So I had to shuttle around it. And then last year I drove from New Hampshire to Virginia just to do those 16 miles. So the spot that I'm standing at right now, this is where I technically completed my last through hike. It's the spot where I like officially connected my steps. So that's a cool spot to me. Just a random little intersection on the trail, but it means something. Looks like maybe that was a controlled burn recently. I feel like I can still smell it. I mean, my feet were already kind of damp from the rain last night, but I just stepped off trail to use the bathroom and they're, they're gross. <laughs> the hiking today. It's very slow going with like all the placements of these rocks and trees like this that are across the trail. So it's tough and then everything is wet obviously from yesterday. So wet leaves, wet rocks, I'm slipping and tripping. So this is what I'm working with today. Well, the sun came out today, which is nice. Uh, my clothes are dry, but my socks, my sock liners, and my shoes are completely drenched still. Um, so I'm on the side of the trail. One o'clock right now, found a good log. I think I'm just gonna take my shoes and socks off, hopefully give them a second to dry. Um, I don't think they're gonna get completely dry, but they'll do something and then I think my snack of choice is going to be a honey bun, and then I'll continue on. I think I'm about to climb down off of this ridge, so I have a big downhill ahead of me. Alright, I went a little further with the whole gear drying thing. My tent is up in that tree. My puffy jacket is above me. Um, I also took random stuff out of my pack, like this. Um, I'm charging my phone. Just like everything was pretty damp. And so the socks are still on that log. Um, I did have a good snack. Didn't have the honey bun, but I had a lot of beef jerky and Mr. Beast cookies. Uh, and that's about it. Refilled my fanny pack with protein bars so I can have those for the next few hours. It just feels nice to have, like, to be barefoot and not have wet socks and shoes on for the moment, so... 
I might hang out here for a couple more minutes, maybe try to wipe the dirt off my tent and then pack everything back up. All right, time to hike again. That was a nice long break. Put on my wet shoes, but at least my feet got to breathe for a second. I've done 10 and a half miles and it's 141. So we'll see what the rest of the day looks like. I know I say this a lot, but I didn't look at the, the shelter camping situation. I'll start thinking about that when it gets to six o'clock. That seems to be the plan that I've been going with for this through hike. <laughs> This climb is never ending. I don't think it's gonna look steep in the video, but it is. I just gotta get in a rhythm. Some people like to say that Virginia is flat, and I'm here to tell you that that is not true. <laughs> there might be some sections in Virginia that are easier than others, but for the last few days, I've been doing really big climbs walking on a ridge for a few miles and then going down big descents and then just doing that over and over again. <laughs> Plus I feel like the section I'm in right now is maybe a little more remote than some of the other sections of Virginia. I feel like I'm gonna get some comments for this one, but I think this is the first day that I'm waking up in my tent and then going to bed in my tent. <laughs> yeah, I think this is the first time I'm gonna be in my tent for two consecutive nights in a row on the AT this year. Now, was I when I was in the Smokies, I was in a shelter for two consecutive nights, but this is the first time I'll be in the tent. And it's probably still a little damp from the rainstorm last night, so we'll see. I think it'll be fine. I think most of the gear dried while I was taking that longer break earlier. So even though I woke up in my tent and I'm gonna go to bed in my tent and I didn't do anything today besides hiking, like there was no towns, no shuttles, no stores, no trail magic, I got some of my most mileage done in a while. So right now I'm at almost 18 miles for the day and there's maybe like a mile left and I think this goes back to what I said a while ago, maybe like a week or two ago, that I am more motivated when I have something to look forward to, um, specifically a town or anything like that, um, any sort of luxury on trail. Uh, I'm not pushing myself because I, right now it's Saturday, I have friends and family coming out to trail on Monday and I'm meeting them at a specific time at a specific point so I can't really get ahead of that schedule I already have that set in stone so I don't know there's just the motivation's not there of course I'm gonna be super excited on Monday when they come out to visit me but until then I'm just kind of like trudging along and it's just not a very exciting day so I'm gonna do this last mile I think it's gonna be mostly downhill and have kind of an early night. It's 5.22. I'll get there before 6 and have some backpacking lasagna. 